Hey guys, this is Nick Love with Love Racing here for another Hot Lap video. Today we're in the Formula V at Lime Rock Park. We're going to go ahead and look at a couple of qualifying laps. First at uh, high speed, and then the next one we're going to break down turn by turn. Good thing to note whenever you're watching these lap guides is just to take a note of the temperature of the track and the air. That's going to make a huge difference in your lap time. Alright, you're going to stay fully track left here. Keep an eye out for the braking markers on your left. You're going to turn in about the one marker. Stay in fourth. Try to get in a nice straight line, then dab on the brakes. I like to track out about mid-track, and then you can turn back in. You can clip this bumper on the inside, it's not too rough. Go ahead and track all the way right. You're going to want a nice late apex for turn 3 here. Uh, you can hug this bumper on the left, it's pretty soft. Try not to hit this bumper over here on the right, it's going to upset the car. Focus on making this next section as straight as you can. We're heading up towards the chicane, which is going to be the hardest braking zone on the track. Look for that left bumper right when your front tire reaches it, get on the brakes, get down to third. You have to be really patient going up here. Uh, wait to get on throttle until you know you're going to make it. Okay, keep the car in a straight line here. Don't track left, just keep it straight and it'll get you there. This entire section should be flat out, so your goal here is just to minimize the amount of steering angle to get you around these corners. That way you scrub the least amount of speed possible. Okay, so that was our first full speed lap. This next lap we're going to go ahead and slow things down, stop at each corner, and just take a look at some of the details. We're going to use the one marker on the left here as kind of our turn in reference point. After you turn in, we're going to be very careful to ease off the throttle first, and then slowly get on the brakes. You'll want to try to aim to hit your right tire right at that apex at turn one. We only need a little bit of braking pressure for the entry of this corner. Keep the steering wheel straight here when you're braking, as uh, the car is going to get really unstable if you don't. You're going to want to track out to about mid-track. You're going to want to maintain a pretty consistent steering angle through this corner. Uh, as you can see, I carried a little bit extra speed, so I needed to add a little bit of input. There's not really any great uh, reference markers here for your turn in. Uh, you can kind of use this light pole over here on the right, just as an idea. As right as you get alongside it, you can start to turn in a bit. We're not going to brake for this corner, instead we're just going to ease off the throttle and then just use our throttle control. We're going to really try to focus on getting a nice late apex here, um, stay fully track lift, uh, that way you don't have to lift or brake at all for this corner. And you're going to stay flat out through this section, uh, just try to straighten it up, keep the steering inputs as little as possible, and get over to the left and prepare for the hard braking zone. We're going to brake right as our left tire reaches this curbing. Um, you're going to want to track a little bit left, get on the curbing, try to maximize this radius. If you're not as confident on the brakes here, there's a tree about 50 meters back that you can start braking at. That's a pretty good reference as well, especially on cold tires. The chicane here is the most technical part on the track. Um, it's also going to be the most important in terms of lap time. So really try to focus on getting this correct before anything else. The earlier you get on throttle here, uh, the more speed you're going to be carrying up this hill. You'll want to try to get to as close as these as possible without touching them. Uh, if you hit them pretty good, it can ruin your race. Alright, if you made it safely through the chicane, uh, now you just pretty much stay straight. Um, you're going to get a shift into fourth early before this corner, and then just minimize your steering angles, and hopefully you had a fast lap. This was good enough for P2 in the top split. Um, in some higher strength of fields, you're probably going to want to get uh, mid to high threes. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video and you love racing, make sure to like and subscribe below. Let me know if you have any specific car combos or tracks that you'd like me to do as well. And uh, hopefully your race turned out better than mine here.